Neurodegenerative diseases don't always start with obvious symptoms. In fact, the early signs are actually invisible. They can actually be missed by patients, doctors, overlooked in exams and absent on scans. But new research suggests we can catch these changes actually earlier than ever, not with imaging, but with blood tests. So what exactly can your blood tests reveal about your brain? In fact, a recent paper, this one here by Claudio Ligori and his colleagues in 2025 showed that up to 80% of people with isolated REM sleep behavior disorder, what we call IRBD, may eventually develop a neurodegenerative condition such as Parkinson's disease or dementia. In my own practice, I often see patients who struggle with vivid dreams, restless movements, and even trashing about in their sleep. For a long time, this was dismissed as odd, but essentially benign. But I started noticing something unsettling. Many of those patients later began actually to show subtle neurological changes. These actually matched then what this study found. Ligris team actually suggested that the brain may already be under stress long before structural damages shows up or scans and that we actually can sometimes pick this up in the blood test. Three blood markers that stands out and being quite promising. Neurofilament light change, reflecting nerve fiber damage, gliofibrillary acidic protein, the GFAP, which is linked to astrocytic and also inflammatory processes. Also related, actually, tau at trianine 181 is associated, to, as we know, with Alzheimer's type pathology. Now, to be clear, these aren't routine clinical tests yet, unfortunately. They are mainly used in research or highly specialized labs, but they highlight how close we actually are to being able to detect this early shift subjectively and perhaps even years before symptoms of Parkinson's or dementia became visible. For me, this really reframes actually isolated REM sleep behavior disorder. It is not just as curious sleep disturbance. It may actually represent an early warning sign and a window actually where we could create interventions for our patients.